Okay, we're going to do a hack to a Vivitar Flash using an uh, slave. So, first thing we're going to tear it apart now. This one's missing the battery door. So, the first thing I would do is just knock the battery door off and throw it in the trash can. There's going to be a lot of stuff here we're going to throw uh, in the trash can. Now, if you notice, this is a Vivitar 2800. We do not want a Vivitar 2800D. It will not work. So, we're going to tear this apart and uh, we'll modify it and show you how it's done. Okay, we're going to start taking this thing apart. There's two screws up here. And this is going to be messy. And throw. That'll come out. Be careful not to touch the connection in case it's still uh, capacitors charged. We're going to throw this piece away in the garbage. I got four screws down here. Okay, these are my trigger wires. I'm go ahead and clip these. I'm gonna throw this in the trash can. No good. If you want any screws out of it, you can get them out. <clears throat> okay, I wanna. One of these has got a screw in behind. I'll pry up a sticker. Not that one. Right there it is. Take this screw here out. that away. Throw this away. And I can throw that away. And pull my boards out of here.
kind of a messy job tearing it apart, but actually it's kind of fun. Not giving, a, not caring what you're taking apart, just tear it apart. Now, I know this capacitor has been sitting, this thing's been sitting around for over a year. So I know the capacitor's drained, but if you're going to, you should drain that capacitor right now. As soon as you took that out of there, you should drain that capacitor. Now I'm going to drain this capacitor. So I get it in the range of the camera. So I'm gonna take a resistor and I'm gonna go through a, I'm gonna drain the capacitor. So I know it's drained. So the capacitor is drained. I'm going to finish tearing this thing apart. So I got tore apart. This is no good no more. Throw away. Now, I do not need this board here. So, I'm going to clip the uh, leads off of it. I can throw this board here in the trash. Same with this board here. I cut all the leads. Cut that off. Throw it in the trash. Now we got a nice spaghetti mess. We'll sort it out here. You remember red and blue is a trigger. I said earlier. We want the red and blue. You it there on. I don't need the yellow one. Hmm. We'll trim it off. Now there's a green wire here. And a brown wire. I don't need it. And we still got to get some of these untangled. I don't need the gray. But do note the location at the last brown wire, because we're going to desolder that. This is my power to my, my slave. This is the negative. Red is my positive trigger. Blue is my negative trigger. 
Now we need it to to locate the black wire. I need to take the uh, I cut that brown wire off. I left enough air and grab the pair of pliers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it. I'll heat the solder here. I'm going to pull it out. So that the wire is out. I can solder another wire in its place. Now that I, I cut that wire out, it's right here. It's right underneath this block. And this is where my black one that I cut off earlier going to go. So I'll tin that black one. I'll strip and tin it and I'm going to solder it back in that hole there. You will have to clean the solder out of that hole to do that. Okay, I'm going to put that black wire hole where I showed you. Trying to hold it. We're going to solder it. And soldered it in. Okay, now I'm going to cut this tube here off. You can cut a leg off if you want, or you can cut the whole thing off. I cut the whole thing off. So I want to remove that. Okay, now I'm going to solder in a 470K resistor. And I'm going to go from, let's see if I can find something here to point with. I'm going to go from this point here to that point there. Now you could, there was a fancier way you can do it, you could drill or whatever. I just lay it on because I'm gonna space the board out anyhow. So I'll lay that on. There. I'll lay this one here. Kind of and I cut those leads off. Push that down a little bit, as long as I'm not. Good. Now that's the modification there of the uh, Zero Tar 2800. Now, I do recommend you know, putting a uh, 0.47 2 watt resistor between the power supply or you would say from the control board or flash control board to the slave that way we don't burn burn it up from over for charging it too fast and what I do is uh, this is my positive and that's where it goes on to and I'll actually I'll desolder this the positive wire desolder that then I'll take the resistor
And I'll push that all the way through. And then I'll solder it. Then what I'll do is I'll hook my positive wire to the resistor. So I'll hook up my power my, my um, power wire to there. Now I'm gonna I like to keep my control bar farther away from the slave control as I possibly can. So I'll use a longer piece of uh, wire. So that's what I mean. I'll take a I'll turn this real quick. That's my hot wire, it's my positive wire going into my slave board. And then my resistor is in there. I'll put a piece of heat shrink over top of that. And it'll look pretty nice. Now if I wanted to test this, you could put a 6 volt battery to this. Um, so you put positive to negative. Then now be careful if you do this that nothing's touching and make sure after you do it that you uh, after you test it to make sure you just charge that capacitor again get whacked so I could um, once I put power to my positive negative and you just touch the red and blue wires together the slave will go off that way you know if the board's working um, pretty much concludes the hack for it now I'll rewire this and I'll rewire the, sl the triggers because I like them to go further. I hope this helps. So like I said this is negative, positive, triggers. I'll touch these two it goes off. So I put 6 volts to it.